Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Amankin Cloud. Uh, in this video, we are going to specifically concentrate on EKS architecture. So as we talked uh, in the previous video, we talked about what is um, uh, the architecture of the Kubernetes itself. So in this video, we'll, we'll talk, talk about the EKS architecture. So there is a slight difference in the architectural diagram. So what we'll do is, uh, um, you know, uh, apologize if the uh, handwritten you know, drawing is not so clear, but uh, our aim is to just make the concept clear to you. So here uh, we have the master and node architecture again, marker, uh, master and the worker. So in master we have, as you might already know, we have CRI, which is controller uh, container runtime. We have HCD, we have scheduler, we have API server, right? We also have controller manager. We also have a uh, cloud controller manager. I told you that uh, in the architectural diagram of um, Kubernetes, it is called as cloud control manager, but replace this cloud with the Fargate here because we are talking about EKS and EK in the EKS, it is going to be Fargate, right? So, and we have worker. So in EKS, we have a concept called worker node. Okay. So we will uh, create a managed worker node and there it will give us the worker nodes. For example, worker nodes here in EKS will be your EC2 instances. For example, if you mention two worker nodes, two EC2 instance will be created and they will be grouped under one, uh, you know, node called as worker node. Okay, so do not confuse. Uh, worker node is like an umbrella which is holding two e EC2 instance called as nodes. Okay, so in the nodes, it will give you CRI again along with the queue proxy and the kubelet which is required for the communication. So what is the difference here is EKS will let us focus on the application workloads. You do not have to worry about any of these components. You do not have to deploy anything here. So if you are doing it on on-premises environment, what you have to do is you will have to go to the particular, let's say you are deploying etcd. You will have to go to uh, Kubernetes etcd documentation, their GitHub repository, read through it and there will be a, a command to run to uh, you know deploy the etcd components you will have to go ahead and deploy it right manually all these things were manually now what instead of what happening in um, you know eks is that everything that we see on the screen is managed by the aws right so we don't have any control over them so all you have to do is deploy your workloads on the AWS EKS clusters, right? So you, everything is provided to you if you just configure it. So I will, uh, I have a video created on how to create an EKS cluster. If you watch that video, it will be very clear to you. Here you will just go through a few uh, you know, checks and also you will provide few details like what is the name of the cluster, what is the name of the node group and all you will provide, what, you will, what is the instance type, everything you will provide and the EKS will create the cluster for you on, it, on your behalf. So that's why we call that as managed cluster. Okay, managed means everything is taken care for you and you will have to deploy your workload. So if that is clear, um, uh, let's go ahead and start working on the EKS in the next videos. Okay, so this is a basic difference between the EKS architecture and what you manage and what uh, 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 AWS manages. Here in this scenario, you are not managing anything. Everything is managed by AWS. So you can uh, target working on your you know actual work so previously what used to happen to deploy the kubernetes itself it was taking a lot of time and energy instead of that aws provide is providing this as a service to you where you can use that and deploy your workloads but when i say it uh, they are giving a service here also you need to configure few things and what needs to be configured and how to work with that we will see in this particular playlist okay so i think uh, it is clear to you right now if you have any questions please drop them in the comments and also please like share and subscribe so that um, you know the youtube algorithm makes our video uh, in the uh, you know slightly up so that's all i had for this video if you're liking the content please consider subscribing and share it with your friends thank you and i will see you in the next one